A 15 year old girl is dead following a shooting on Indy's northeast side. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke to that victim's mother today who was hoping to see justice served. Today, IMPD returned to this apartment complex to follow up on their investigation after a teenage girl was found dead here on Wednesday. That killing continues what has been a violent and record tying trend for youth homicides this year. Around noon on Wednesday, police were called to this apartment complex near 42nd and Midhofer and found a teenage girl shot to death along a line of trees. I don't know how to live with this pain. Demetria Boston says her daughter, Janiah Carr, was a student at Arsenal Tech who recently attended homecoming and would have turned 16 in just a few weeks. Police detained one person for questioning in the case, but are continuing to investigate. Police reports show Naya was reported missing on Monday. Her family doesn't know why she was killed. But I'm glad that whatever happened, that they were still able to find my baby. I just want justice. The death brings the total number of youth homicides in Indianapolis this year to 19, tying a record set just last year. Finally, anyone with information on this homicide or the teenage girl killed over the weekend can still contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Now, Wednesday's homicide took place just a few days after 16 year old Kaylin Washington was killed during a large Halloween party on 65th Street over the weekend. That shooting wounded several young people. Today, the grandfather for one of those victims, who is a youth activist from Chicago, came to Indy to offer a $2,000 reward to help solve that case. You can find more details on the reward on our website, fox59.com. Meanwhile,